luxury bags. They are definitely things that I love and I absolutely love spending my hard earned money on it. But there's quite a few things that I don't love spending my hard earned money on. If you wanna see the five or six items that I don't spend money on and I'm quite frugal about, then please just keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and usually we talk about all things luxury. Today's video is a little bit different because I was tagged in Dale's addiction, well Dale's addiction tagged me in this tag that was created by With a Touch of Luxury and Danny O. I will have all three of their channels linked down below for you guys. This tag I believe originated because With a Touch of Luxury made a video on things that she likes to splurge on and then she countered that video with things that she doesn't like to spend her money on. I think that this is a really good topic because a lot of times luxury YouTubers are a little bit misunderstood. People believe that they spend all this money carelessly, they spend tons of money in lots of different ways in different places, when in reality a lot of us only spend a lot of money on luxury. So the first thing that I want to get into as far as things that I don't spend a lot of money on is vacations. And I have my list down below, so if you guys see me looking down below, that's why. I have gone on very, very few vacations in my entire life. Now, I grew up in a household where I had 11 brothers and sisters. We were a huge family and we lived a lower income life. I don't want to say we were dirt poor. We didn't have anything extra but we did have everything that we needed. We had food on the table, but vacations were definitely not part of that. So I kind of grew up in a world where vacations didn't really seem like a normal thing to me. It was a very luxurious thing to have. And then I became a mom myself. I was a struggling mom and that again was not a part of the budget. Now that I've gotten a little bit older, I am married. My husband and I have a joined income, you know, two different incomes coming in. It's something that we can afford, but with six kids still living here at home and two adults, a vacation would cost us probably 10 plus thousand dollars just to do something very basic and very simple. And honestly, you guys, if I were to do a vacation with all of my kids, I would be super mom mode. I'd be super stressed out. I'd be on high alert. I'd always be wondering where they're at, what they're doing, who are they with, who are they talking to? I'd want them with me at all times. And that's not fun for anybody. So vacations are an area that we definitely save on. Now that our kids are gotten have gotten a little bit older, they're at ages where we don't have to have our eyeballs on them at all times. We don't have any toddlers or babies or anybody that's in diapers. It would be a little bit more enjoyable for us to go on a family vacation. And it is something that we do want to incorporate into our lives very soon. So if you guys have any places that you think would be great for a family vacation, not a whole week, probably like, three days because I don't think I can do a whole week, let me know down in the comments below. The next thing is something that is small, but it adds up. I do not buy drinks. I do not indulge in drinks other than coffee at home and water. I don't go buy sodas. I don't go buy protein shakes. I don't buy smoothies. I don't buy fancy coffees. I don't go to coffee shops. I don't spend six, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks on a drink. It's just something that I don't do. I used to. I used to work for fries. I was a deli department manager. I worked long hours. I worked very physical hours. So I used to buy two to three Starbucks drinks a day. You guys, I kid you not, I lived off of coffee and I did not eat. That was my, my food. I would guzzle down a coffee and I'd go right back to work. So I don't spend money on that. That was about $20 a day I used to spend on coffee. And I just don't feel the need to. I am perfectly happy with my homemade coffee. I actually prefer it to something that's overly sweet. And otherwise, like um, smoothies or protein shakes or anything like that, I don't need those either. I can make them at home perfectly fine and save my pennies. The next thing is something that's probably not true for most luxury YouTubers. And that is the fact that I don't buy all things luxury. The only thing that I spend luxury money on is luxury bags. Now I do have one luxury wallet. I have one luxury key pouch and I have one pair of luxury shoes. Other than that, I don't have anything that's luxury. I don't buy those things on a regular. I don't buy luxury makeup. 
I don't buy luxury shoes. I don't buy luxury belts. I don't buy luxury perfumes. I just don't see the point in it. My true love for luxury is in luxury bags, not in all things luxury. So I don't spend a lot of money on clothing or anything like that other than luxury handbags. This next thing is a big one and it's something that I didn't realize that so many people do. I don't pay for home services. So what do I mean by that? A lot of my friends, especially moms, will pay for somebody to come and do their laundry or clean their home once a week or once every two weeks or do their yard work, do their pool cleaning, anything like that. I don't pay for any of that. My husband and I are really good at splitting up our chores and tackling them. We do it pretty much every Sunday. He has his select things that he tackles. I have my select things that I tackle. We do them at the same time and it's kind of like a family cleaning time. We feel really good about it and we just get it all done every single week. But if we were to pay for those services, those services are a lot of money. I would have to work a whole nother job just to pay for those services. So I really don't understand why people would rather work more to pay for those services because then you're out of the home working or in the home working. I'd rather be in my home working is what I'm trying to get at. So we do not pay for any services like that. We just do them ourselves. The next thing is one that I get lots and lots of questions about, and that is the fact that I don't have a car, but not only do I not have a car, I don't have a driver's license. I have never driven, and this has actually become something that has become cost efficient. Now, this isn't why I do it. I don't drive because it gives me extreme anxiety, and so I've never learned. Every time I try to drive or try to learn how to drive, it just never works out for me. But by not driving, by only having one vehicle, we are saving money. I don't have a car payment. I don't have an insurance payment. I don't have to pay, pay for tags. I don't have to pay for gas. I don't have any of those expenses whatsoever. Now my husband does, but I do not. If I need to go somewhere and my husband can't take me, I just Uber. It's no big deal. It's so easy. It's cost efficient for me personally because I don't go a lot of places without my husband. I think on average, my Uber bill per month is about $400, which I know that seems like it's crazy and astronomical, but most car payments are double that. And then you have to pay for your gas and your insurance and everything else. So I think that it is very cost efficient that I don't have a car and that I don't drive. The last thing on my list is the fact that I have a modest home. Now I have a nice home. We have a pool in our backyard. We have a four bedroom home. It's very open concept. It's very beautiful. I have high vaulted ceilings. I have a beautiful fireplace, but it's a very modest home. It's not a brand new home. It's not something that costs us millions of dollars. Our mortgage is lower than most of the people that we know, and that's because we bought this house a long time ago, and we don't necessarily feel the need to upgrade. We are very comfortable. We do wanna do some upgrades to this house, but we don't necessarily feel the need to move. Lately, we've been contemplating whether or not we want to for other reasons, but I don't. we don't feel like we need something that's bigger or better. And that's not because we can't afford it. We can afford a bigger house or a better house, but we are comfortable here and we're comfortable with our mortgage and we're comfortable with what we're paying. So we don't feel the need to upgrade a home just for the sake of going out and getting a new home or having the next sparkly thing or anything like that. What did you guys think about the six things that I don't spend a lot of money on? Are these similar to the things that you guys don't spend money on? Let us know down in the comments below. What are things that you absolutely do not spend your hard earned money on? Maybe it's luxury bags, you never know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I am going to tag all of you YouTubers out there. If you are a YouTuber, please watch this or please do this tag and let me know that you guys did this tag so that I can watch your video. Thank you guys so much for spending your precious time with me and until next time, bye guys.